Hello, Taurus. Hello and welcome to your November Celtic Cross for 2021. Massive apologies for the audio issues in the last reading. I was merrily going on about how we were just about out of Mercury retrograde and thank goodness for that because I'd had so many technical issues and problems and of course mercury retrograde decided it wasn't quite done with me yet i have a brand new sparkly shiny microphone and now hopefully fingers crossed normal business can resume let's get some cards on the table for you there will be an extended over on patreon the link to that is in the description your overall energy for November is the King of Wands, which is, well, you've come out with, with quite a, a bang there. That's very, very strong, determined, persuasive, inspiring, attractive. You know, the King of Wands is, is like the hero, the hero of tarot. What's crossing you is the world card. Okay, trying to kind of finish something up, trying to close something up here. What lies at the root of this situation is the two of wands should i stay or should i go should i go this way should i go that way definitely into minds i'm wondering if this king of wands is somebody that you're dealing with here somebody that you're maybe connected to in some way shape or form could be like your boss could be a romantic partner could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius got capricorn and aries here as well um could be that you're wondering if you should stay with somebody or not essentially what's going on here recent past is the page of pentacles what's on your mind is the fool maybe there's been some kind of offer some kind of proposal or invitation to do something or go on some kind of adventure you're in two minds should i should i go should i should i not go Coming in for you is the Ace of Swords. That's lovely. That's the clarity that that's, you know, this this indecisive which way kind of vibration that's going on here. Um, clarity is absolutely arriving shortly. So hold on. It's coming. You will figure this out. Your advice and guidance is the Four of Swords. OK, so you need a hot minute to think about this. Essentially, I, I see an offer. I see a promise, not a promise. Where did that could. Uh, oh, it might be a promise okay an offer or a promise to do something or to commit in some way coming through for you, you some of you might be getting like literally proposed to like marriage um and it's the advice and guidance here is to just take a minute take a minute to think this through clarity is is on its way what do you need to know the five of cups hopes and fears seven of pentacles ultimate outcome ten of pentacles beautiful gorgeous okay this is i like this this is a really nice reading yeah there's a few twists and turns um but ultimately i see this going a really really nice way i do see you getting some kind of invitation or offer um possibly from this fire sign energy here coming through, like I said, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else is here in terms of the signs? You've got Aquarius up here, Capricorn and Aries, as I've said. Four of Swords is Libra. You've got some Scorpio. There's you, Taurus, and Virgo here on the table as well. But very dominant central fire energy for you. I sense this kind of, in this central energy here, a great deal of confusion. Um, it could be that within a like a romantic situation or within a friendship or some kind of partnership that you've got going on here that there's like this kind of make or break moment because we've gone we've got the fool or the world this seems to be your choices brand new beginning from scratch or completely done there doesn't seem to be any mid ground there doesn't seem to be much in between you're either 100 percent in or 100 percent out um, and it looks as though that's kind of the decision that's being made here. And with the world card being the one that's crossing you, it could be that you've maybe gone to somebody and said, hey, I think we should split up. And they've said, marry me. <laughs> and it's like, what? 
but how did we go from there there to there there seems to be this choice that you're making is is an is, is a choice of extremes for sure or it could be that your person's been distant or detached or withdrawn in some way and you are fearing the worst and you think i think this might be over and it turns out they actually want to get married and have babies and live together happily ever after you do literally have the happily ever after card over here in your outcome so i think there's going to be a few revelations coming in through for you and i think what you think this is it's kind of the opposite ace of swords this is gorgeous this is a moment of clarity or revelation like this new understanding that you kind of suddenly arrive at it is coming um this is information that you are told or information that you find out and it's generally usually like game changing information in terms of how you think how you feel about a situation or a person and i do feel some huge revelations about this connection that we've got going on with this King of Wands kind of person could be a male or a female. Tarot isn't interested in gender. It's the energy of masculine and feminine, not male and female. And everybody, regardless of your gender, carries masculine and feminine traits. Um, but I think either way, you've definitely got a lot to think about here right now. Um, I think... The advice here is is very clear, very clear. This is actually a really clear, straightforward reading as well. The advice here is to no knee jerk reactions. Um, just just take a hot minute, just take a step back, and just think things through i think the information that's coming in or the revelations that are arriving in your mindset in your terms of understanding the clarity that's coming through is kind of a bit either sudden or shocking or both and i think it will be absolutely worth giving yourself a moment to kind of let let it sink in um because i, I don't think you see it coming at all in the past we've got this page energy pages are awesome they're ace page of pentacles um is um a solid tangible offer coming in it's like that sowing of the seed of what will ultimately become the Ten of Pentacles. I straight up think what I'm tapping into here is a situation that you thought was over, but is actually, this is just the beginning. It's like you thought it was over, but you're just getting started. And this is the change. This is the revelation that's coming through here. What you need to know is that we need to, I think, you know, the Five of Cups is a card of regret, unfulfilled expectations, disappointment, all that kind of stuff. And if you felt something was ended, or I mean, I'm trying to think of how this could be, it might not be romantic. So say this is, your boss has called you into their office and it's like, like oh no, dun dun dun, kind of moment. Or like, you know, when you're at school and you get called to see the headmaster or the headmistress, it's like, oh no, what have I done? That sinking feeling. And it turns out your boss wants to offer you a pay rise or a promotion and it's like, what? wow uh or, or or give you more responsibilities and it, it, it is giving you something to think about and i'm thinking like a pay rise would you really need to think that through unless there was some kind of conditions attached to said pay rise so there's more to it than just somebody offering you something amazing you definitely have to think and i think the change in mindset is there might be something that's finishing up there might be something that's being closed up here and the mindset the change in mindset is you need to not dwell on the spilt milk essentially not dwell on these three cups that have spilled out but very much recognize that you actually have two very beautiful filled cups ready for you um i think this is something you've waited for i think this is something you've in invested in this is something you've wanted it's almost like this amazing thing has kind of that you've wanted and hoped and wished for and almost resigned yourself to this idea of it's never going to happen it's never going to happen for me it's never coming and you've kind of given up on it and bam that's the moment that it comes in and it's almost like you can't quite believe it 
I, I see you kind of in shock here for a moment, but this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Snap somebody's hand off, quite literally. This is the happy family, the happily ever after. Um, sharing, togetherness, connection, community. And the thing I love about the Ten of Pentacles is everyone gets very excited about the Ten of Cups, you know, the happily ever after, the bliss card, wish fulfillment. And it's a gorgeous card, the Ten of Cups, of course. But the Ten of Cups has that kind of dreamy, wistful, watery kind of nature. So it can be a dream. It can be a fantasy. But this, this is real. This is happening. This is a beautiful, harmonious, happy home environment. And I know Taurus, above many other things, really, really, really value that specifically like creature comforts and just being in your domain and feeling peaceful and comfortable and safe. And um, I think there's, there's a huge offer coming in that's kind of going to sweep you off your feet or knock you off your feet one way or another. It's a good thing. It's a positive thing. But I think it's going to take you a hot minute to kind of process it, digest it, accept it because it kind of feels a bit too good to be true. I've been incredibly short and sweet with you today here, Taurus. There is really no need for me to continue with this reading at this point in terms of the cards that are on the table here, because I would just be going over the same message here, because the message is beautifully clear. So thank you, Spirit, for making that message so clear. What I will do is I'm going to go ahead and clarify every single card I see here just to see if we can draw out some additional messages. But that, of course, will be reserved for people that support me over on Patreon. Five dollars a month and you'll get all the readings, all the extendeds and all of the bonuses. Um, so if you want to join me over there, link is in the description. But in the meantime, give yourself a minute. Let this sink in. Say yes, ultimately, if that feels right for you. And good luck with this this revelation or this offer or whatever it is that's coming in for you here. Um, I feel even with this heads up, it's still going to be a bit of a shock. So a good one, though, a good one. Take care. I will be back um, with, I can't even remember. I'm, I'm kind of a bit blown away by the, the, the I think because I, I, I'm, I'm a bit speechless and I think it's because I'm tapping into the energy of you being a bit like taken aback, like wh wh what? Um, so I'll leave it there. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will be back soon. Goodness knows with what. I need to gather my thoughts and uh, pull myself together. Take care.